hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a chevron style pattern on this 32 ounce cup i am using spray paint vinyl and glitter So next I'm going to show you how I made the pattern for the cup. I measured the cup from top to bottom and around the cup and I made that into a square on the computer so I knew exactly how much of the pattern I needed to fit on the space for the cup. And then I'm just going to show you how I made it. I used a parallelogram shape and I just kind of labeled them how I wanted it, the pattern to go and I put them all together and then I cut them out in removable vinyl and to make the pattern i just took one of the shapes and i flipped it and lined it up with another one and then i duplicated it and kept duplicating it until i had enough that would fit inside of the square that i made that is the exact same size of the cup So once I had it cut out on removable vinyl, I just kind of went through with a marker and labeled which spots I wanted which color to be. And then I'm going to put this whole thing on the cup and I'll be taking it off piece by piece. So I was using spray paint, so I did the spray paint first. So I'm going to be taking off all the spots I labeled for the paint. So after the paint was dry, I'm just going to put on the black and marble vinyl. 
um, I just cut those out with the same shape I used to make the pattern for the cup. So once I got the marble and the black final on the cup, I'm going to last go in with some Mod Podge and this rose gold glitter. And I did two layers of Mod Podge and glitter. When I got done with all the spots that had glitter on it, I went over it with a clear spray paint and then I did two layers of epoxy on it. Now I'm going to be using these rose gold lines that I cut out to line down the middle of the cup and around each shape. For these small lines, I just put it on there and then I just use my X-Acto knife and I cut it off where it ends. So once I got the smaller lines done, I'm just going to go in with a long piece and go down the middle of where those two shapes meet. Thank you. 
After I got the lines going down the length of the cup, I did take a piece and go around the bottom and the top to make it just look a little bit more put together. And this is how the cup looks after a few more layers of epoxy. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.